Hello friends, welcome to another episode of What's the Best. Today we're going to be looking at what the best way is to produce petroleum. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, petroleum is one of the stronger power options in the game. But there's a few different ways that you could create it, and it's really just created from uh, crude oil for the most part. But there are some other ways that uh, we're going to have some strong opinions on. So... Thanks again to the suggestion for uh, this video, idea, and uh, there's going to be a lot more in this series, so yeah, just the second one of it so far, but anyway, without any further ado, let's figure out what the best way is to produce petroleum. Alright, option number one, and I think the most obvious option, because there's a building that just directly does it, is the oil refinery. Uh, upsides of the oil refinery are definitely that it's simple, um, and you know me, I tend to like more simple things than more overly complicated things, but it's not necessarily always the best way. So, with an oil refinery, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is grab some crude oil, and I did mention this in the oil video. This is actually the same biome, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, there's so much naturally occurring oil on the base game that most of the time you don't even need to, like, get extra. But then what you do with it to turn it into petroleum after that is a little bit more for debate. So... Yeah, oil refinery, all you need to do is just pump the oil into it. Then a duplicate will need to come down and man the machine for a little while. Uh, kind of spin the wheel and get some petroleum to come out of this. It will put off uh, natural gas as a byproduct, so it does kind of generate extra energy on the side by what it produces. Uh, but the efficiency of conversion of this is only 50%, so it still is very strong. It's a great way to do it. Um, there's a lot of, I think this is one of the more healthy debates in terms of like uh, this method versus another another one we're going to talk about in this video, which I won't spoil it quite yet, but we'll, we'll see it when we get there. So yeah, pretty straightforward option. Um, you can see this is what I'm using in a real game shortly after entering the oil biome. Definitely you don't need any fancy tools or anything to uh, approach this. Probably is best that you make it out of steel and just stick it into a place that you expect to be hot anyway. So yeah, there's option number one. Let's check out option number two. Oh, uh, yes, they're back. I think if you have seen the previous video that I made in this series, I think you know my disdain for Slicksters. So this time, we're going to be talking about the Molten Slicksters, and I gotta say, I'm just less of a fan of this. Maybe not less of a fan than regular Slicksters. I do think they are better than the regular Slicksters, but not by much. Like, these are both bottom of the barrel, absolutely no other option is why you would use it, or if you just want to be silly and do it for the sake of doing it. Uh, like I talked about in the last one, the conversion rate of carbon dioxide to any of these uh, products that they'll put out, whether it's oil or whether it's petroleum, is about 50%. But, just the concentration level, like, looking at this intuitively, this is a very high concentration level of gas. But 8.7 kilograms in a tile for a liquid is awful. Um, so by comparison, uh, if you take a look at this setup here, and I'll kind of explain how you, like, all the hoops you'd have to jump to just to get even a few of these to get started. This has been running for, I think, about 40 cycles, if I'm remembering right. Uh, yeah, started in the late 50s, so I think it's close to that. Been trying to get this up for about 40 cycles to a point where they will start naturally producing these Molten Slicksters. Uh, the biggest problem with this is that you need to raise the temperature of these Slicksters to above 100 C before they're going to start putting out Molten Slickster eggs at a reliable rate. So just that alone, um, and all the prohibitive tech that you would need in order to get that far is... I don't know, it's already a deal breaker for me at that point, so... There's problem number one. Problem number two is how much duplicate time you're going to have to spend by grooming these things to make it actually worthwhile. Uh, problem number three is that if you really want a good haul, and, and I say good very uh, liberally here, this is very generous to the Slicksters by calling anything good, but if you're going to produce a recognizable amount of oil or petroleum off of this, 
You probably also need some carbon dioxide vents or carbon dioxide geysers or something. Both of them are dormant right now, so that's nice. Uh, <laughs> means that all of my production will probably slow to a crawl. But, I mean, we're already at the point where I'm needing to, like, power aqua tuners to have a place to at least generate enough heat to make this worthwhile to start turning this into molten slicksters. And by this point, I've already required steam turbines and a whole bunch of steel and a lot of other refined tech that I would have probably wanted the petroleum generators for anyway. So, I don't know. I just... I can't really defend these uh, other than saying like this is just something you would do for fun if you really felt like it was a good idea I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the last video and be like oh you think this is a lot of gas huh well no uh, that was the worst square ever but you know what slicksters deserve it here's the kind of container that slicksters deserve there it's really it's not functional whatsoever I'm just gonna destroy one tile there that's what they get all right so if you look at this a concentration above, like, 8, 9, whatever kilograms of gas seems like a lot, right? So, let me fill this up really quickly. Sample. Fill this with carbon dioxide. Looks like a lot. This is probably more than you will ever see unless you are going to specifically capture these vents and geysers, which, if you've seen my other video about it, here you go, here's a little preview for you. If you've seen that video, you know that I think these are the, some of the worst geysers in the game. So, yeah, anyway, let me just continue to dunk on these a little bit harder. But uh, if we convert all this to petroleum, let's say we converted this at a um, one to, or sorry, 50% rate like they're expecting us to. All right, ready? Okay, let's get this going. So fill with petroleum. And this, the concentration is going to be like, what, 4.2. I'll even be generous here. There we go. Looks like a lot. Oh, wait. It didn't take my settings. It doesn't even know how to make it 4.2 kilograms. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, now that it all falls down to the bottom, this is how little we're dealing with right now. Let me just de deconstruct some buildings so you can see how comically small this is in terms of actual petroleum. So... I'm going to let this all kind of drift down to one spot. I guess this is pretty good. And then if we put in a pump... Is this going to be too hot? No. Okay. If we put in a pump, let's see how much this actually fills up even just one tank. Keeping in mind that just one rocket that you're going to need for this is going to take like 900 kilograms. This won't even fill one rocket, and this is like an obscene amount of carbon dioxide. So, I don't know. I just can't emphasize how really bad this is. We're going to wind up pumping out a majority of this in, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 30 seconds. So, yeah, this is just a comically small amount of petroleum, and especially when you can compare it to the other ways that you can get it. Look at this. It's barely even a dot on there. All right, these guys, boo, okay? Boo, no, boo. Get them out of here. This is what I like to do with Slicksters. This is what I think about them. They are awful. Okay. Uh, we're gonna watch the massacre. Only one of them can come in here at a time, so this isn't gonna be a very great massacre, but I think you get my point. Yeah, take that. Nisbet, you show him. Quinn, get in there. All right, we're just gonna kill these off screen. Okay, you know how I feel. All right, next method. Okay, final option for petroleum production. This is a... Uh, probably slightly over-designed version of a petroleum boiler, but I like to make my builds clunky and obvious just to make it easy to follow. So the idea with this is that if you heat up petroleum, or sorry, if you heat up oil enough to its vaporization point, take a look at this, it will convert into petroleum at 100% efficiency. This is good, um, but I'm gonna... Like, we'll, we'll demonstrate it here really quickly. So the build that I have here is basically just going to fill up this chamber with crude oil. As soon as there's enough in here, it will close some doors that's going to connect some tiles together that will uh, basically get some heat from this magma until it turns all of this into petroleum. Then once it's done turning it into petroleum, a door will open. It'll come down here. It'll be cooled off by exchanging its temperature with steam, going into these steam turbines and... We have some aqua tuners to help keep this area cool. 
Uh, and then once it's all cooled down, it'll go down into this area, which is finally pumped out into a tank somewhere. So, uh, in theory, great. I think this is like one of those where if you have unlimited resources, this is definitely the best way to do it. Or if you want to find a way to just produce a silly amount of things, this is definitely going to be a better way to do it than the uh, oil refinery. But the problem I have with it is, again, I still need all the plastic to do this. I need a lot of steel. It needs to be next to a magma source, which I guess you can grab a volcano or something. And uh, this isn't really a problem, I would say, but it's so like prohibitive to the point that once I finally got all this up, so much time would have passed that I would have already been able to use a more simple solution and refined it and been able to just move on with my life afterwards. So that's my biggest complaint with this. It's not that it's like hard to do and it's not necessarily that it's like something that um, is impractical. Like this is reasonably practical, but it's kind of like an embarrassment of riches type of thing. Like this much petroleum is ridiculous and this puts out a ridiculous amount of petroleum, but I just don't know what I would use it for. Like. I guess you could use it for power, which is one of the main reasons. You could use it for rocket fuel. But this is so much more than you would ever use. Especially if you're going to be on other sources, like just using this for geothermal power directly. Or using solar panels or something like that. Like, there's a whole bunch of other ways that you could generate power. Um, that would not be reliant on petroleum and all the other ways you'd need to also get oil. So, I don't know. I This is cool, but... I think a lot of times this looks a lot more necessary than it actually is based upon how people talk about this. So in the debate between the two solutions, and I, like, nobody's, I'm never going to recommend using Slicksters. Here it is converting, by the way. Now that it's been converted, these doors are going to want to open and it'll start to flow in here so you can see the rest of this build. But, um, I'll often see... Uh, concepts like this almost listed as like a requirement that you would need to do in order to play the game but I really don't I really don't agree especially if you've never been in contact with any magma or anything like that there's a lot of ways you could make mistakes here and make a build that would not do what you wanted it to do so yeah I guess I don't know there's upsides and downsides I think you should make your own decision but, yeah, let's rank them in the next screen here so we can kind of put a summary on this whole thing. And at least you'll have my opinion, and hopefully you can be angry and yell at me in the comments. Alright, let's go do that. Alright, here we are at the victory podium. I don't know if that's actually what they're called. Metal stand? I don't know. That They're not called metal stands. Anyway, let's rank these three things. So... I think we all know what last place is, and just like the regular Slicksters, the Molten Slicksters, they're not even going to get a picture this time. They're so far off the screen, I'll just put an arrow for where they are and how far away they are from even being ranked. So that's where those go. Uh, they are horrendously impractical. There's no reason to use them unless you really just want to goof around and have fun and do something silly. But like, if you were trying to complete the game, don't even bother. Alright, second place. Uh, I think I have to put the boiler here. I know that the boiler is going to put out way more, and I know that the boiler obviously has two different effects. Like, it's going to be giving you a little bit of extra power while giving you all this extra petroleum. But, like, the embarrassment of riches of this, I just can't get behind. And all the, like, complicated setups you would need just to get that one effect, and then the petroleum is going to be, like, twice the temperature that it normally would be. I don't know. I just I just can't say that it's better than number one, which is going to be the oil refinery. The oil refinery is just plug and play. Like, you just throw it down, you get it running. I know that it's going to convert it at 50%, but I also don't think petroleum is, like, a super cornerstone of a lot of power production, unless you're, like, being really wasteful or you're doing some really silly stuff. So, I don't know. This was actually a really close one between these two. Um, but just for the sake of practicality... I think the oil refinery just barely edges it out. All right. Thank you for joining me. That was an interesting video. I'll be back with a lot more of these and let me know if you want to see more because I've been juggling a whole bunch of different series. But yeah, it'd be good to hear what you think too. All right. I'll see you soon.